Hershey, it's Mr. Cab Cabernet, back again with another episode of Cab Cabernet's Dine of the Day. When I say Cab Cabernet, just remember, that Chef Cabernet to you. What we got here? Where we going? Where we going today? Mm-hmm. That's right. You know where we're going? We're going to take you down to Chinatown with this culturally insensitive episode of Cab Cabernet's Dine of the Day. Because today, we are preparing a uh, wasaki chicken and broccoli teriyaki. Okay? And a homemade shrimp fried rice with multicolored rice. Let me for the takeout this evening, ladies and gentlemen. Stay tuned. Mr. Cabernet, Mr. Cab Cabernet, Mr. Cabernet, Mr. Cab Cabernet. So, when I thought about preparing this dish, you know, I haven't tried Chinese food in a while, you know, but um, it's an American staple. As funny as that sounds, right? Everybody likes Chinese food. But I have an issue with um, sometimes the service, you know what I'm saying? Like all the delivery, I, I, don't, I don't know exactly what I'm eating, okay, to be 100%. So I figure I'll make it myself. You know what I'm saying? This is uh, this is this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna do a twist on it. We're gonna do the uh, aromatic purple, red, and brown rice. I think some black rice in here too. Okay, but we have all the uh, essentials. We have the bean sprouts, the rice, the shrimp, the egg, the green onions for the uh, shrimp fried rice, and we have the broccoli and the chicken and the teriyaki for the uh, chicken and broccoli teriyaki. So. First things first, we're going to do the rice first because that's gonna take the longest, honestly. We'll start the rice and then we'll go in with the, uh, the, the teriyaki, okay? The chicken teriyaki. So give me like five minutes to prep. I'll be right back after these messages. Stay tuned. You can't reach me. <laughs> salt in there as well. Look at the color already changing. Look at that. And then we're going to turn this down to like medium low and uh, simmer for about 20 minutes. Okay. So let's get into this chicken. Okay. I'm going to do, uh, do small cubes. Again, very similar to what you see at the uh, Chinese restaurant. Uh, this is uh this is chicken thighs. You could do boneless, skinless breasts. Um, will also work if you don't want a lot of the fat. You know what I'm saying? But we're going to uh, a little fat won't hurt. You know what I mean? It's going, it's going, it's going to brown up anyway in the pan, and um, it'll just be a little crispy. That's all. So. We'll do the uh, the ones with the less, the least fat. You know what I mean? right. And then yeah, so let's go fat on there, and just some little cubes. But 
this should be enough. Two, uh, two thighs or one large breast should do it. Again, it depends on how many people you're cooking for. This, is, this recipe is really for two servings. And that's that. So we got the chicken ready, right? Now, as you can see, we got the teriyaki sauce. I'm not doing a homemade teriyaki sauce today. Uh, being that I'm already doing two recipes, I thought that would just be too much and it would just take too long, <laughs> honestly. So I will put, um, possibly we'll do that another time. Uh, what we're gonna do though is we're gonna, we're gonna do this this, this chicken teriyaki dish. So let's do some sesame oil. This is the flavor, okay, that you're used to tasting at the Chinese restaurant. It's this flavor. Very toasty. It is sesame oil after all, right? So it's quite toasty. Now you, you don't have to use this, uh, but this just gives it, it gives it more of that, that authentic flavor. You know, it makes you feel like you're, makes you feel like you're there. Okay. So we're gonna put this broccoli in. too soft because it's going to actually cook again inside the pan with the sauce. So, I'll throw this chicken in like this. and the sauce, right, and then let it simmer. Let it simmer for a few minutes. This, this is not a, 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 a difficult meal. It's very simple. Very simple. takes the longest in this dish is the rice. You know what I'm saying? So you just already put the rice on first. You never gotta boil, you put that on first. Because the grilling is the easy part. You know, at the Chinese restaurant, they eat a little baby shrimp, right? We're gonna do, these are like supposedly extra large, but I don't know what they're talking about. These are just large shrimp, ask me. Um, so this is, this is going to go in the shrimp fried rice as like bits of shrimp. Not, not big chunks, but enough so we could taste it. Wow, poor shrimp, man. You can smell it. Let's 
smell the ocean. This is why I only cook with wild caught. You can smell the ocean. Don't do the farm raised. You feel like you're eating something that's from the ocean. And I, for one, enjoy that feeling. That knowing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so here's the shrimp for the shrimp fried rice. Okay, we got the chicken browning. We got the um, we got the uh, broccoli starting to get there to the boil. We have the rice. We need a, probably another ten minutes for this. And um, yeah, we're halfway there. We'll be right back after these messages. Stay tuned. Don't you taste with me? <laughs> now sugar, tell me what you wanna taste first But say the best for last just in case it tastes worse Now uh, let us begin with something like Something white like Pinot Grigio And we can do what you like Break out the Rydell stem with Jacuzzi full of champagne dames and swim with How about the tat de J Blanc de Blanc She got legs, full body and a donk a donk A little jar of Sarova or Bavua caviar Open another bottle, we's about to have fun is a lifestyle, but you gotta right. sip it slow, sip it slow, and baby, if you didn't know the lifestyle, baby, now you know, now you know, crush grapes is a lifestyle, but you gotta sip it slow, sip it slow, if you didn't know about the lifestyle, baby, now you know, now you know. Okay, so we got our broccoli, which is basically half cooked, okay? Throw it in here. Turn this down a little bit. Sauce in. And with this, you know, this is really however you want to do it. You know what I'm saying? You want extra teriyaki, you want, you know, a little bit of teriyaki. I like a little, a little more teriyaki than the average mother flexion. You know what I'm saying? Because I want, uh, you know, I want it to be saucy and, and sit on that rice, let the rice soak it up. And we want to sit this in here and let it simmer for a few minutes, about five minutes or so. Oh no. Just you know. Okay, so let's check on this rice. Rice is looking lovely. So let's set this aside over here. Right. This summer over here. Low. Okay. Now we got 
this joint right here, okay? Because we're going to, now again, you could do this with a wok. As you can see, I got a big pan here, but if you got a wok, you could do it with a wok. You don't need a wok. Um, so let's do this. We're gonna do some more sesame oil. Okay. Cup of bean, of bean sprouts, okay. This recipe calls for. Throw these in there. And then uh, throw these onions in. around okay. mix these around for about three minutes okay just want to get them want to get them sweating you know what I'm saying we want to make them sweat Okay, so chicken ter uh, chicken and broccoli teriyaki is basically done. We're waiting on this rice, and we're waiting on these vegetables. And, uh, and I'm gonna throw this throw the shrimp in with the rice, and then we're gonna be ready to plate. Five minutes. Be right back. Stay tuned. Check, check, one, two. <laughs> My money bank. One, two, one, two. That's Hunter's butter butter. Yo, this is Mr. Cab Cabernet from Harlem, USA. And if you don't know by now, <laughs> Crush Grapes is a lifestyle. This is a song about the hustler, you know, those who provide for the customer. Words born and so they trust in ya. You got what they need, so they fuck with ya. First, your friend had a Benz, you was your friend's driver. Tonight, you aspire to be your Benz driver. Now, you got a Benz, now you a Benz driver. But still, you aspire to be your Rolls driver. Now, you got a Rolls, now you a Rolls driver. But now you're the boss, you got your own driver. You stay on the grind and you never retire till you acquire whatever your heart's desire. And we're back. This is the finale. All right. Now, you got these sprouts, these onions rocking, throw this shrimp in. Okay. Mm -hmm. Throw this shrimp in. A little bit more to spoil. Yeah. Okay. Mix this all around. Okay. Now the shrimp cooks fast, as you know. So it only takes a couple minutes to really for the shrimp to be done. So 
what we do now. Okay. We throw in the rice. Okay. Throw in the rice. Nice amount of little shrimps in there. Okay. Now, add this egg. Okay. Key to this is the turning, constantly turning, constant turning, flipping, blending, combining. Salt, we're gonna use soy sauce. Okay. Yeah, soy sauce is full of salt. Mm -hmm. And ladies and gentlemen, this is a good shrimp fried rice. And everything, man. Time as well. Okay. We have our we have our chicken um, broccoli teriyaki. So this is how we play it, right? We have a nice little. I'm going to pull the shrimp fried rice. Okay. And again, if you use white rice, of course, the flavors will be a little different. This is a very flavorful rice because it's multi-grain rice, multi-colored rice, purple, black, uh, red, so you're gonna get different types of flavors in here. Okay. So we have that, right? We're gonna do some chicken broccoli teriyaki. Make sure that flavors in there. You put this right over it. Or you could put it on the side, that's up to you. Okay. And you can do this on a bowl, you can do it on a plate, 
really however you choose. Okay. Then, pop it off. No sesame. Mm -hmm. No sesame. Yeah. And they're going to do a rose. You get a good look. And we'll get a good taste. Chopsticks are preferred. Chopsticks. Okay. If you're a sushi eater, you should not have used these. Very good. Very, very good. Let's check out this one. Teriyaki. Telling you, you never have takeout again once you master this recipe. Thank you for coming to Chinatown with me. Once again, this is Mr. Cab Cabernet, that Chef Cabernet to you. And um, thank you for joining me at Chef Today Cabernet. Stay tuned for full episodes of Cab Cabernet's Dining Today on YouTube, Crush Grapes TV. And remember, eating well is living well. Bon appetit. Mr. Cabernet, Mr. Cab Cabernet, 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 Mr. Cabernet, Mr. Cab Cabernet.